Hi there, welcome back to Animal House Calls on CP24 and on Animal Planet. Laura Taylor, Just Paws Animal Rescue. And I, I guess before we meet beautiful Selby, mm -hmm. although I want to hold his paw right now, <laughs> so sweet. A quick update on Hanky. I yes. remember when Hanky was on the show. Yes. And uh, lots of work uh, needed to be done. Yes, two and double hip done. replacements, yes. <laughs> yeah, and he's fully recovered. He has no pain anymore. He's running around the backyard playing with the other dogs, and he's ready for adoption. That is fantastic. And where did you get the money in order to do that? We, <laughs> we've been doing a fundraiser and asking for donations, and, and, um, and from after being on the show, we got a lot of donations, and we're still looking for more. It was an expensive surgery, and, and so we're looking about raising about 4,000 more. Yeah. Where is Hanky today with those new hips? He's at his foster <laughs> home, yeah, and uh, he's thriving and loving life, and yeah, it's just nice to see him pain-free and able to run around and be a dog. Yeah, and the, well, he should. Yeah. And isn't it wonderful that the technology extends beyond humans oh, to yeah. animals, thank goodness. No, it's, it's amazing. That's We're so happy great. with the progress that he's made. And you say foster home, it means that he is up for adoption. He is up for adoption. Yeah. So he's what kind of family are you looking for for um, him? So he'd be great for any family. He's a happy-go-lucky dog, and, and he's just very easygoing, and, and he could be perfect for any family. Active, he likes yeah. to go for his walks now that his hips are better, and yeah. And he's a big dog. He is, so yeah. He's a big lab, You yeah. need to know that. And also labs love water, yep. and he, with those new hips, as you say, pain-free, yeah. he yeah. will be a force to be reckoned yes. with. Yeah. It, would he be good with uh, other animals in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cats? No, he's great. Yeah, he's he seems to be fine. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And would there be uh, more expense for the new guardians? There shouldn't be because he's made a full recovery, great. so there shouldn't be any other complications at this point. You yeah. just want that to raise more money to yes. continue. To continue, that yes, yeah, yeah. I, I'm crazy <laughs> about. Selby. Yeah, no, he's amazing. He is beautiful, yeah. and he was. To be put down last week, yes. he was to be euthanized yep. at a high kill shelter yeah. last week. An angel of mercy stepped in, and so did you. <laughs> yep. And tell yep. me how that happened. So what happened was um, our, one of our co-founders, Jane, she got an email from the shelter asking and pleading for help for him, somebody to step up, a rescue <laughs> to step up, and and help save his life. Because um, as he was surrendered by family, they couldn't take care of him for whatever reason, and uh, they said that they were going to euthanize him, that nobody would come in and adopt a dog at the age of six who was blind. So Jane emailed me and asked, and I was like, for sure, I would love to. And that's because you have a big heart and <laughs> also you. the ability to open doors through foster homes. Yes. You need more yes, foster homes. Yes, we do homes, need more foster homes. But you need a home for yes. Selby. Now, his name used to be something else, yes. but just tried to find a new name yes. that sounded a, kind of similar. Yep. New name, new leash on life. Yes, yes. And he's now fallen asleep. Yes. I, I can tell you he's about this big and yes. his stands about this tall. Yep. He has the cutest face ever. Yes. He is blind and but we don't know how long he's been blind we don't know we don't know much about um, his his blindness yeah. so yeah. doesn't seem to bother him not at all he's very independent he likes to find his way around the house by himself when I try to help him he kind of brushes me off and, <laughs> get away I yeah, can do he's this. like I know where I am I can do it so. would it be best that he goes into a home that's all on one level yes the less stairs the better yeah. um, he has fallen a few times in the backyard off the one step that we have and so the stairs aren't a great idea but for he would him. get used to just one stair yep. to the backyard. Yep. Yes, he's found his way now. You bring up yeah. another good point. Can he walk on a leash? He can. Um, he does follow my dogs around, but it's probably best to have a big yard for him to just... He's, yeah, because yeah. it's... He feels more safe and secure. He knows the surroundings, yeah. He is lovely. He's tired. He is, <laughs> after traveling here, yeah. But he's in good shape, good and, shape, and yeah. the blindness, you know, he... Uh, as I say, doesn't seem to notice, and Not he all. makes his own independent way around. He does. How would he be with young children, with other dogs, with cats? We're not recommending young children, as he does startle very easily, and so we don't want any in incidents happening because of him being startled, and um, and we don't want him to be afraid. And, and uh, so we're looking for a family with no children. Cats would be fine. He loves other dogs. He'll follow them around. He wants to be where they are. So, and he'll learn from them about the house. And it could be a single person as well, totally, as yeah. long as they were to, they understand a little bit of a special yes. needs and yeah. and lots of love and devotion and yes. time spent with yeah the dog. He, I've learned to be a lot more patient having him in my house no. yeah he needs a lot of warning and 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 being told when he's going to be picked up and and letting him know that you're there and 
but so, so worth it. And yeah. his health is good. His other health than is that. good. He's had multiple surgeries last week. So he had, we found out that he needed to be neutered. Then he needed to have some, um, his teeth extracted and some cleaning done. But it's all done and yes. you've done it and yes. you need fundraising to, we do. to, to yes. help support this yes. and a great guardian yes. for this little sleeping dog, <laughs> yeah. Selby. He yes. really is gorgeous. He is. He's a sweetheart. Thank you so much for no, what thank you do. You. And thank it's you. just amazing. And I, God bless you. Thank Honestly, you. little sweetheart is alive today Day and has a full life ahead of him That's thanks right. to you. That's right. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll take a break. When we come back, an update on the large duck rescue that happened in Etobicoke earlier today and also some great tips to help ease the itch from your dog's bug bites. Dr. Michael John Winters joining us next. To reach us within the GTA, you can dial 416-872-CP24. That's 416-872-2724. Or from outside the area, call us toll free at 1-888-863-CP24. Or if you're on the internet, you can send your email to animalhousecalls at cp24.com.